Hey guys, this is Inka. Welcome back to my personal channel. Today I am not going to be doing a recipe video. I am going to be doing something a little bit different because in one of my last videos, you guys mentioned that you were interested in seeing a kitchen tour now that I've moved into my new apartment and my kitchen is slightly more spacious. When I was looking at other people's kitchen tours, their kitchens were usually like three to five times the size of mine. So I hope I have enough content, but you guys can tell me what you think. Let me show you guys around. This is kind of what my kitchen looks like from the doorway. I'm thinking of buying like a door curtain here just to have a sense of privacy and mostly for me to hang when I'm in the middle of a shoot. As you guys can see, it's not super big. I have quick before and after pictures when I first moved in and I had like a million boxes of kitchen items and then after I organized it, it looks a little more like what you see right now. This is what it looks like from one side. Ta-da. And then this is what it looks like on the other side. I'm trying to figure out where I should start. So there's quite a bit of storage space and you would think that I have a bunch of empty space to put more things, but most of these are actually super packed. It's partially because I shoot a lot at home. The other part is pretty much just because I'm a bit of a hoarder. So I'm just gonna go through the kitchen, cupboard by cupboard and counter by counter. Starting with this first station, once you enter the kitchen, this is pretty much the water station. I have an electric kettle and I always boil my water before drinking it. After I boil it, I'll just transfer it over and drink room temperature water. Tap water is safe to drink in New York City, but this is the habit that we had growing up. So I think I just kept that. We drink a lot of hot water in this household. That is why the electric kettle is a lifesaver. Up here, you guys will see that this is pretty much the drink station. All the way up here are where I keep all my fancy glasses. And then down here are where I keep my mugs. A lot of coffee mugs. Down here where it's definitely packed because I love coffee and tea, you'll see a bunch of coffee equipment, some tea bags, loose leaf tea. My parents also sent me more tea at the back, so there's tea there too. I have a lot of stuff in here, but I love opening this cupboard because I just smell the coffee beans every time I open it. So that's really nice. I also have my mocha pot, which I use to make lattes or Americanos. The reason it's not in the cupboard is because I usually just have it on my stove top. So yeah, this is where I start my mornings. Down here where I keep all of my utensils and more kitchen tools. So I have a lot of chopsticks here, including these really long ones, these rice paddles. I have a lot more than necessary, but you know, no harm in that. And then obviously soup spoons. Over here, just some pastry brushes, some knives. I have my metal straws. This straw is amazing. It's from Biggie Straw, I believe, and I use it to drink my smoothies all the time. If you have boba, it's also perfect for that. This is pretty much where I keep all my fun kitchen gadgets, all of my useful stuff. Down here is where I keep all my pots and pans. Also, this is a classic. If you watch K-dramas, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's the first station. There's actually not much up here because it's quite hard to reach, so I left it there. But over here are where all my spices are and I definitely reorganize them after moving. Hold on, I need a little stool. Okay, let me show you guys what's on top. So up here is where I have all my unopened products, canned food, chili oil, also some gochujang in the back, and this tamyanjang, which is used for making some awesome noodle sauce. More hot sauces here, like Tabasco, um, barbecue sauce. So lots of hot sauces and lots of chili oil because I love me some spice. This second tier is pretty much where I keep a lot of the spices that I don't use as much. I won't go into them in detail because there's a lot going on in here. There's also just like different kinds of salt here as well. This is pink salt. This is Hawaiian black sea salt and normal salt, lots of salt, lots of sodium. And on this level is where I put a lot of the more frequently used things, which is the easiest to reach again from the stovetop. But even this level is not as frequently used as the ones in this box right here. This is where I keep all of the seasonings and spices that I use almost every day. So it's almost like I'm basing this off of tiers of how frequently I use them. And I'd love to go into the sauces I have to speak about you know, which ones I use the most, what I use them for, but I don't wanna bore you guys 
If you are interested in that though, again, please leave that in the comments and I will probably speak about it in another video. But yeah, I love this tray because it just makes cooking so much easier because I have everything I need right here. Then down here is where I have a lot of my packaging things or like, you know, things like aluminum foils, Ziploc bags, parchment paper. Down here I have some baking things like this tart pan which you guys saw in the lemon meringue tart video and strawberry tart video. I also have these mini loaf pans. Most of my baking pans I put right under the oven. This could also be like a proofing tray but I actually just use it to put a lot of my baking sheets. This is how I have it set up. So this section I actually didn't have before. It's almost like a display counter of sorts. This is kind of where I put things like potatoes, onions, shallots, garlic. Then I have my blender over here. You guys probably recognize my little heart-shaped pot that I love. And then I have its bigger cousin down here. And I usually actually reserve this for bigger roasts because it's huge, it's massive. And then moving over to this side is where I have just a movable counter. This is just some bread that I bought yesterday at a Japanese bakery. And then actually down here, I am making kombucha and it has been, oh, it smells like kombucha already. This has been sitting here, I think for around six days now. I'm gonna check on it tomorrow, so I'm super excited. That's one side of the kitchen and a lot of things are ready. So now I'm gonna show you guys the other side. Up here, right by the entrance is where I keep a lot of my bartending stuff. Bits of alcohol there. Even though I don't really drink at home, I've always been really interested in mixology, how people make cocktails, how the flavors kind of blend together. So that's why I got this set. Here is a much bigger cupboard and this is a little embarrassing, but this is my snack area. Literally, it is packed with snacks. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing my snacks, but I would love to know what kind of snacks you guys love the most. If you had to recommend just one snack, what would it be? Leave them in the comments below because I am super interested and I would love to give them a try if I can find them. And down here is what I like to call the breakfast section. A lot of granola. And I love this granola so much. They have this matcha flavor and I am obsessed. Flour tortillas because I've been eating a lot of like breakfast tortillas lately. This is where I keep all of my water bottles and I have a lot of water bottles. And then I also just have a measuring cup over here and this noodle making tool that I haven't played with yet. This kitchen tour is really just a reveal of me being a hoarder. Okay, and then here, it's where I keep a lot of my supplements and things to make smoothies with. Over here on the right side is where you'll find my baby food processor. It has been quite a main feature in most of my videos, so you've probably seen them around. So yeah, this tour is really making me realize that I probably have too many things in this kitchen, but Moving on. Right next door is my fridge. I have my little egg guy over here. I love it. I look at it every day. Probably won't show you guys what's in my fridge because then this video might be crazy long, but I did want to show you what I have in my freezer. Look at all the ice cream I have. And if you think this is very little, it's because there's like way more in the back. I did some counting and I realized I had 15 pints of ice cream. So I had a great national ice cream day. Right above my fridge, again, You'll see some more empty boxes, and I have some treats here that I was actually gonna save to shoot a video. And I have my cake stand here, pressure pot at the back, and then my mom brought me these. I think it's a vegetable steamer and a fruit juice blender thing. I haven't used it yet, but I will, because the moment she sees it, she'll ask me, why haven't you used it yet? And then over here, I just have some oven mitts hooked. My trusty rice cooker. Love, love, love this rice cooker. It helps me save so much time. I almost use this every day, if not every other day, not just for rice, sometimes for steaming vegetables or buns or other things. It is so great. I cannot stress that enough. And then over here is where I have my beautiful stand mixer. The same stand mixer that probably mocks me every time I choose to whisk with my hand instead of relying on it. Then over here on the top, down here is where I keep all of my carbs. So you'll see a lot of pasta, a lot of rice, and this isn't it. I have more rice. It's just down here. We love rice in this household. This second level is a little bit random, but you'll see like some instant noodles, some curry packets, rice paper, and 
seaweed for making kimbap or sushi rolls, and also some sweet potato noodles. And then on top here is just a lot of dry ingredients. We also have these cooked salted dug eggs that my brother bought because he likes eating them with rice. But yeah, most of the stuff on top are either herbs or other ingredients that we use to make Chinese soup. And then down here is pretty much just our dishwasher. But I have to admit that I am one of those people that uses it as a drying rack. I am so sorry. Back up here is where we have our kitchen sink. So there's dish soap in here as well as some hand wash. I literally just bought this and I love it. I can put two kitchen sponges, one for cleaning dishes and one for scrubbing use. But up here is where I keep a lot of my plates and bowls. So these are the plates that I feature a lot in my videos. A lot of you have asked where I got them. Honestly, I just get them from Target. They are very, very affordable and they look really nice. And then I also have these wooden bowls and plates as well as these soup bowls. And on the second level is where I have most of my mixing bowls. And then actually for the mixing bowls that I usually use in my videos, they're part of this set. You can see the green bowl and the yellow bowl. So this is where they come from. Then little containers over here to put sauces and then pretty much just your average containers plus the bento box. Then I saved the best section for last. This final station, if you will, is what I like to call the baking station. Up here on the counter, this is where I usually do all of my kitchen prep work. I have my cutting board set up, my knives. I have more knives here as well. This actually came as a set and I love it. It's so just like aesthetic. It's also the collection that includes this whisk that I have used in so many whisking videos. Over here, I have more cutting boards. But really the reason I call it the baking station is because literally everything in here is for baking purposes. It looks really organized right now, but honestly, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it like this. Bottom part is where I keep most of my dry ingredients. So a lot of flour, a lot of starch, some cocoa powder, there's matcha powder in the back as well. This second level is where I put a lot of my sugar. So you'll recognize the dark Muscovado sugar. And then remember how I showed earlier that I kept most of my spices in the other cabinet? All the spices you see here are actually used mainly for baked goods or, you know, just sweet things. So there's like cinnamon powder, there's cloves, some chocolate, of course, because I love chocolate desserts. And then on the very top here is just more assorted ingredients, dry milk powder, a lot of honey, there's Nutella, maple syrup these waffle cones, and a lot of fun sprinkles as well as boba. Down here, I have more baking things. So here's where I have a lot of cookie cutters. You see this cute Rilakkuma cookie cutters that I bought when I was in Taiwan, and I'm so excited to play with these. I have some electronic scales here, measuring cups, measuring spoons, cupcake liners. This is my mini piping kit, so that's in there. And then on this side, is where I have my hand blender, silicone mats, some more cake decorating tools. This is my knife sharpener and yeah. So at the bottom here, I have more cake pans. The other half of my blender is here. So this is how they say hello. I love this corner so much. I knew when I moved into this apartment and I saw the kitchen space that I wanted a little like baking corner because I really wanted to be able to bake a lot. I think as a kid, I've always had this dream of becoming a pastry chef. So this corner is kind of where I let the little me kind of have fun. That concludes my kitchen tour. Not a lot of space, but a serious amount of stuff. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye.